Hi guys. All right, hopefully my connection is okay. And we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm actually gonna pin my link right here in the comments to everything I'm wearing, including all of the makeup. So I'm gonna pin that right there. And then I also have it in the description of the tutorial. So you can actually find everything I have on pin there. Hello, hi guys, how are we? So I'll wait for just a few minutes for everybody to come on. Make sure that when you come on, you click the share button in your bottom left-hand corner and then on your top right-hand corner, if you can click the um, those three little dots, you can actually sign up for the um, notifications. Awesome, Gulf Shore is very cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, I threw some loose curls in it. Just get some body going for it. Yes, hot California for sure. <laughs> it's so hot today. Hello, hi guys. All right, so make sure, like I said, when you pop on, you click the bottom left-hand corner, you click the share button, top right-hand corner, you click the notification button so you don't miss out on any future lives. And we'll get started. Thank you, oh my gosh, my skin has never looked so good. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but our brightening serum that we just launched, I've been using it now for about two weeks. Oh my word, I don't think I've ever seen my skin this bright, this like even. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely do so. No, so I do not send any friend requests. So here on my business page, you don't have the ability to send a friend request. And my personal Facebook page is called Rhea Coleman and the friends list is full on there. It has been full for years. So um, I can't send any friend requests. So if you get a friend request from me or if you get a message saying that you have been selected to be a winner, it's spam, block them, delete them. Um, I know a lot of you guys have gotten those over the last few days and I'm sorry, I'm trying to actually work with Facebook on getting my thing under protection. So these people can't do this anymore, but I'm not hacked or anything like that. They're just taking my photos and my photos are on Pinterest. My photos are on Google. So it's not like I can lock down my Facebook. Unfortunately, they'll still get my photos. So I apologize, but don't fill out anything. Don't give them in your credit. Don't give your credit card information out to anyone and don't fill out your credit card information. If you want something, then you should just win something. You shouldn't have to hand over your credit card. That's very bizarre. So don't do that. So I just wanted to put that out there. If you get any friend requests for me, if you get any, you're the winner, you've been selected. It's fake. It's false. If I tell you you're a winner of something, I will send you a personalized voice message. Okay. Tell them that. Be like, I want to hear Rhea's voice. <laughs> I'm sure they'll come up with some weird answer. Thank you. So I pinned my rings, um, in the comments from lavender blue. I pinned my necklaces from Amy Waltz designs and I pinned my bombshell beads. Um, from bombshell beads and then i also pinned my raya hope earrings i collaborated with 1110 leather to make these aren't they so pretty you can use the code raya c15 to save they come in four colors but these ones are one of my favorites they're just like a black and gold they're pretty so i have everything linked right here in the comments and in the description i do have fillers in my lips i get them done every like six months or so what steps to use to prime so i always do my setting spray primer setting spray which i'll get into in a minute too yay you got the waiver so good i can't wait to see your hair <laughs> right clarissa guess i'll take it as form of flattery yay just ordered it so the serum that i'm talking about is the it's called the brightening serum it just launched it's going to be under toners on my website rayahopebeauty.com go to skincare and then go under toners and that's where the brightening serum is i've been using it for two weeks you guys two weeks only at night i haven't even bumped up to twice a day yet and i am like so impressed with how it's really helped to lighten my sunspots and my acne scars really really impressed so if you haven't grabbed it yet highly recommend does your hair part on both sides it could i assume but i don't this side is much more fuller and a little bit longer than this side, which is now they're actually kind of the same side or the same length, which I've never done before. Um, but yeah, yes. The Eplif beauty oil is amazing for fine lines. Aw, thanks Tiffany. You're so sweet. 
All right, so I think we're all here, so we'll go ahead and get started. So like I had mentioned in the tutorial, or in the caption of the tutorial, I have pinned everything. Um, my necklace, my earrings, my Apple Watch band, my bracelets, my rings, everything is pinned there with a the discount code. And then also I pinned where you can find what I'm about to use on sale. Hallelujah. Love a good sale, and this one is the best because you get to choose any foundation, any foundation, including the pressed powder, including the stick, including the spray, including the liquid, including the BB cream. So good. And then um, you also get to choose any foundation brush, any brush for, for uh, your face, including my beloved tapered blusher brush for contour. And then you get to choose any primer. Any primer, any foundation, any brush is the kudos this month. It's only $90. It's a 26% savings unless you get the spray. And then I think it's a 29% savings. Um, such a good deal, you guys. This foundation never goes on sale. But even more so, the brushes never, ever, ever, ever go on sale. So the fact that all of the facial brushes are included, so good. For natural, uh, Sharon message me and I give you a recommendation for that. <laughs> my closet yeah what foundation would you recommend for oily skin i would do the spray foundation for oily skin today i'm going to show you the stick foundation and how to use it three different ways so you can really utilize the kudos you can get three of them and be like balling on a budget saving so much money that way so we'll go ahead and get started on that um so the first thing that i'm going to go ahead and do is go in with my concealer so you can use the stick foundation as concealer um, you're going to want to use the lightest shade which is the shade scarlet for most skin tones if you're not sure if scarlet is going to be a good fit for you please reach out to me i would love to help answer your questions and color match you or just comment in big capital letters color match and i can give you a color match recommendation the studs i have on these these uh little lightning bolts i got them from beachy dolls i believe so scarlet goes on first and we're going to use that as our concealer. I love using this as the concealer portion because it's a different consistency than a concealer. So it really gives you this like, it's almost like a thinner consistency, but it's really, really nice. Do, are your rings and earrings in the app like to know it? Allison, no, that they, they're actually right here pinned in the comments. If you see my little picture right there, it says Ray of Hope and it has a little pin in it. You should be able to see everything I pinned. If you're still wanting to have any links, just ask for them and I will uh, message you them. Color match, perfect, Kelsey. Um, what foundation would you recommend for dry combination? The stick foundation. This one is gonna be the best for dry skin and the best for combination skin. It is so hydrating, it is so full coverage and look how easy this is to apply. So I'm using the stick foundation in the shade Lace for this step. So you're pretty much gonna mark up your face and you can either apply this two ways. You can either use your Kabuki brush and really kind of taper it or um, uh, like pounce it in, but I prefer the blending buds. The blending buds are so, so good for applying the stick foundation because it adds even more moisture into your foundation or into your skin, which is really going to help to make it look softer, much more blended, much more softer. Chelsea, make sure to send me a message because you may, I may have sent you a message, but it's in your requested folder, um, which is like this, I don't like saying the word stupid, but stupid little <laughs> hidden folder on Facebook. Um, so make sure to check it out there. Everybody look in your requested folder because my message might be hiding. So message me, Chelsea, today. Yes, it is damp. What is the next color up from Organza? Um, too light for me, uh, lace would be the next color up. I can't wait to watch today. Oh, okay, Emma, we'll see you later. Um, Cheryl, if you message her on Facebook, she usually gets back to you same day, exactly. And I will be messaging back same day today. I have the time today, the kids are in school. So I will be messaging you all back today if I haven't yet, which I got back to all my messages yesterday. So send me a message here on Facebook. It's super duper easy. All you have to do is tap on my face, like click on my face. A little description window is going to pop down and you're going to click on my name. It's going to take you to my page and you're going to look for the message option. But as I'm blending this out, again, I'm avoiding the concealer portion of it because I don't want to make my under eyes look darker with the uh, lace foundation. So I'm gonna go over it with the blending bud um, and avoiding that section. Yes, 
So for the UK, you can purchase these products from my website as well, Allison. So you can either go to rayahopebeauty.com or you can shop from this link right here, which I have pinned in the comments and in the description, which will take you right to the deal that I've mentioning this entire life, which is the kudos, which is just like our monthly deal. All right, so now that I've blended in all of my foundation, so soft, you guys, now I'm gonna use the smaller blending buds to uh, uh, apply the lighter shade. Uh, were you scared to send your kids? No, not at all. They are, they are sanitizing extremely well. They're doing every step manageable to keep them safe. So no, I'm not scared whatsoever. And they go to a very small school. Uh, color match, perfect Sarah. <laughs> I love you, Sherry. You're so sweet. Make sure you use the code Raya20 to save. Or the extra blendings with the kudos. Yay! Exactly. So that's exactly, Sherry, you've read my mind. You took the words right out of my mouth. That's exactly what I would personally do if I was shopping the kudos. So I would get um, the stick foundation or the spray foundation. Those are two of my favorites. I would get the mattifying face primer. This one's my babe. I cannot live without this. It blurs your fi fine lines, blurs your pores, and makes your makeup look so soft and so much more fuller coverage. And then I would get... Um, the tapered blusher brush, which I'm going to use here in a second for contour, and I would upgrade and get the blending buds. I would add these to my cart so you get free shipping because it's free shipping at $100. All right, so now that we're pretty much all done with our foundation, I'm going to go in with just a little bit more. Can you use a powder concealer brush? I don't think the powder concealer brush would apply it very flawlessly because it would be buffing and this is a cream foundation which needs to be like pounced. It needs to like be blended out rather than... Um, kind of blended with a brush. Sorry, I'm trying to catch up on the comments. I used a spray foundation for my son's wedding. It was amazing. Oh, I'm so glad. One shade lighter than taffeta will be the shade Lace. The stick lasts probably the longest out of any of our foundations. Um, it lasts probably within, I'd say six, to seven months depending on use but it lasts the longest because you need like the least amount for the most coverage it is so 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 good full coverage and it's so lightweight on your skin you don't need a ton of it to get that really gorgeous soft coverage if you have if you want full coverage you can build it up which I love which I'm doing right now um, but like I said you don't have to because you get that really nice soft coverage right off the bat and then it's so lightweight you guys it doesn't feel like you have anything on your skin and it's extremely hydrating so it's not going to accentuate any fine lines or wrinkles or like seep into those areas like liquid would so this is a really good option if you have dry skin or if you have um a combination skin the matte primer is game changing it's so so good all right so going off our stick foundation love we're going to go in with the uh, stick foundation the shade chenille and this is going to be like three or four shades darker than my natural skin tone. And we're going to use this for contouring. This is a really great option for if you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles. Because again, it's not going to accentuate those. But you're still going to get that really gorgeous bronzed uh, contour. So as you saw, I just like tapped it on. Which again, this product's going to last you forever because you're using so little of it. And then you're going to go with the fat end of your blending bud. So again, make sure you grab these in your, coot or in your cart when you're ordering your kudos. And then you're just pouncing, bounce, bounce, bounce right off this. And it's kind of smooshing this product out into the, just making it look softer and not like so intense. So as you see, not so pretty. So if you're not like a huge fan of a very bold contour, this is a really good option because it's going to give you that really pretty uh, contoured look, the bronzed look without being so intense or so dark. Yay, perfect. I'll get back to you. I was kind of matched wrong by someone. Can you help? I can, Sarah. Send me a message here on Facebook. See my message from earlier. Uh, yes, Bonnie. I'll be getting back to all my messages today. I'm needing help with product that I bought. Please help. Yes, Linda, message me and I can help you. Yes, Sarah, I will message you. The coverage when you sweat. So what you want to do when you use any type of foundation, you want to make sure to set it really well to absorb any sweat or any humidity or anything like that, which I'm going to show you how to set it here in one second. One shade lighter than chiffon is the shade Eyelet. 
What about using the kabuki brush or just the bunny beds? You can use the kabuki brush because it's a little more dense. However, in my personal opinion, I think the blending buds work the best with the stick foundation because it really kind of compresses it down into place, working it down into the fine lines and into the pores. But you're wearing your mattifying face primer and your setting spray so you're not putting it into your pores. Um, spray or stick. It's like a tie summer. I can't choose. Don't make me choose. How can you never use a highlighter under your brows or mascara on your bottom lash line? I do use mascara on my bottom lash line, Sherry. Keep watching. And I'll show you what I've been using to where I can do that. Um, Paige, my jewelry is all linked right here, pinned in the comments and in the description. So make sure you click right here where it has a little pin. And then if you scroll down, you'll see all of the jewelry I'm wearing all linked. Post more pics of your Frenchie. Oh, I need to, huh? Um, South Africa, I hope we can so soon. South Africa is definitely on my list, on my radar. Um, I only see makeup pin in the bottom. I don't see pin where your other stuff. So Nikki, just scroll down just a little bit further. I have it pinned there and it's also in the description. But if you are needing any particular link, whether it be for the bracelets or whatever, just comment that and I will make sure to send you those links. Mm, I need concealer that really covers and evens out my dark areas under my eyes. April, I would probably do the stick or um the skin perfecting concealer. That one is going to be the most full coverage concealer we have, and that one is going to be amazing for you. It covers everything. It's so good. Uh, so glad you're using these choices. Yay! Awesome, Peggy. I will send you a message to be color matched. Okay, sorry, I was trying to catch up on all my message, or all my, um, all of my comments. Um, need to stick, I need to get a stick contour. So you can actually get the stick contour in the kudos as well. All right, so what I just did just now is what I was talking about for setting purposes. So someone asked, what do I do if I sweat with the foundation? So what you're gonna wanna do is you want to make sure that you have a good setting product. My favorite is this guy right here because I have oily skin. So this is called the Touch Behold Setting Powder. This is going to be incredible for absorbing any of those natural oils or the natural sweat from your skin to trap it so it's not pushing against your foundation. So what I did there is I just used this on the areas that I do have a lot of oil or sweat. So like my forehead, my T-zone, and then under my eyes. So I used a baking technique, um, which is just essentially using a lot of product and then letting it sit on your skin for a few seconds. And then you'll sweep away using a fan brush, which also is on sale in the kudos. Perfect, you sent your photo. Do you have a link for fancy? I do. Um, I'll put it right here. And then you could use my code Raya15 on fancy's website to save. So that's where I get all my mirrors and all my facial tools. Get the blending beds for sure. Total game changer. Um, doo -doo -doo. When do you dampen your sponge with applying the stick foundation? I do that very first thing. So while I'm setting my makeup, or I'm sorry, while I'm setting my skin using my setting spray, primer setting spray, I'll spray my face and then I'll use my, I'll get my blending buds wet. So I'll just wring them underneath the water and then squeeze them till no water falls from them. Yes, the best sunscreen for our foundation, for any foundation, is called the SPF Veil. It's my absolute favorite SPF. It's an SPF 30 or 35, I forget, but it's made for foundation. It's made to wear underneath foundation. A lot of SPFs on the market are not made to be worn with foundation, so they cause cakiness, they cause patchiness, they cause the clumpiness of your makeup. It's not your makeup, it's the SPF. So our SPF, it's called SPF Veil. It's under skincare, it's my fave. Under eye puffiness, highly cannot recommend enough. The eye cream has a bunch of caffeine and peptides in it. So it actually like shrinks your under eyes. So Lou, or I think I said her name right, uh, make sure to grab the, um, the eye cream. Start baking best for the makeup. Yes, absolutely. Do you recommend the mascara? I could not re recommend the Twisted Mascara more. Dry skin bake. So for dry skin, you are probably most likely not gonna wanna bake. It might accentuate your fine lines even more. What you'll wanna do is just use the product very loosely and very lightly using like a tapered brush. Normally the setting powder comes with a little mesh plate on top, um, which helps you not to get too much product. So you're gonna utilize that little mesh plate. 
Um, Alora messaged me and I would love to help you with launch. Often to use the Cora brush at night, every single night. And then I use the Isla brush in the morning. Can that product help with metapausal flashes? It does. So any sweat, any oil, the setting powder is going to be amazing for you. As well as the pressed powder. How do we message you? Sharon, you're going to tap on my face and a little window will pop down. You're going to click on my name, Rhea Hope, and then you'll it'll take you to my Facebook page. And then you'll send me a message there. Or you can comment color match and big words and I will go through my comments after I get off here and try to find your your comment. The price of the Kudos is $90. It's like 26% savings. It is the best deal. Also for the Kudos, this one would be my number one hot pick for the, uh, for the um, brush that comes in the Kudos. It does all the work for you for contouring. So what I did just now is I took my pressed powder, which is also on sale on the Kudos, in the shade Twill, and I took my tapered blusher brush, and I really just kind of swirled over those areas to just warm them up and to set them as well. So this is my favorite product for contouring, which again, you can get in the Kudos for both of those. So now my contour looks a little bit intense, so I'm going to show you how to kind of ease that and soften those lines up. Under eye puffiness, you're going to want the eye cream. Pat, I will message you. For setting combination dry skin when it comes to hot sweaty days, you're going to want this next product right here. Bridget. I have more sunken under eyes versus puffy. Um, you're going to want lots of highlight under your eyes to bring up that area. So the, uh, the concealer and or the stick foundation, the shade Scarlet, will be amazing for you. What side do you use for your brush for contour strokes? So I always go like, what's this, uh, horizontally, and then I turn it vertically and swirl. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm starting to get off track. So now for to set the rest of our face. So now we're gonna take our pressed powder, the same exact product we just used to contour with, and this is in the shade Taffeta, which actually just got restocked the other day, but the shade Poplin is very similar to this. Um, you're going to take this product and you are going to just set everywhere else. So someone asked, what do I use if I have dry skin to set my makeup? The answer is the pressed powder. The pressed powder not only sets the makeup, but also provides a very light coverage. Our pressed powder is so incredibly soft and silky. It's not drying whatsoever. It is the number one product for setting your makeup and getting that really soft airbrushed coverage. So it's also going to be providing a slight coverage, but it's going to also help to absorb any oils or anything like that. It's amazing. I cannot stress enough how incredible our pressed powders are. For blush, I use an, a, an old angled blusher brush that you can find from L. It doesn't really matter. For, the, for blush, I will be the first one to tell you, like, it matters what brush you use for this or that. But for this step, it doesn't matter what, um, what brush you use. For highlight, I love our highlights. I'm actually going to get to that next. All right, so now for blush, I'm going to use the shade Sisterly, which is like my absolute hands down favorite blush color. This will give you the most gorgeous like highlight and blush all in one. So this is under the blushes, blush and contour on my page. And you're just going to tap this on the highest parts of your cheekbones, just like this. I love to kind of go in. You can always swirl on the cap and then just tap, tap, tap it on. And look how pretty that is. Just gives you this really gorgeous, like, flushed color. The best brush for the spray foundation will be the Kabuki brush. This guy right here, which is also available in the Kudos. Do you record about helping menopausal flashes? Yes, you're going to want the setting powder for menopausal flashes. What color powder would you recommend to use over eyelet? The shade Jacquard. Um, what side of the bush? I use launch stuff like crazy. Oh, awesome, Kelsey. Make sure you use my code or my link. Uh, where do you get your big brush? Message me, Wendy. I give you the link to that brush. Do you like the blush stunning? It is really pretty. Um, it's a matte blush. It's a little bit brighter than sisterly. My favorite ones are sisterly and supple because they're not super intense. They're not bright. They're really good with every color you choose to wear, lips, everything. Um, they're just like a really good every day. All right, so now for highlight, I'm going to use two today. I'm going to do the cream to powder. This is called the Touch a la Mode Highlight Cream to Powder Luminizer. And we're going to use the shade Lustrous 
for our face. So it's this really gorgeous rose gold. So I'm gonna apply this on my finger and then I'm just going to very lightly just kind of press this on the highest parts of my cheekbone. So someone had asked what is a good highlight. This would be my favorite, the shade Lustrous or the shade Pearly. The cream is really great, especially if you have fine lines and wrinkles, because again, it's not gonna accentuate that. Goes on cream and dries into a powder finish and is so soft and pretty. Look at that. So again, just tip and bridge of the nose. Wipe that off. And then I'll use like any kind of highlight brush. Again, doesn't really matter for this step to blend that out, just like this. Just go right over it. And look at that glow. Isn't that so pretty? So again, that's a Touch of Mode Luminizer in the shade Lustrous of the cream to powder that we used. So we're kind of sticking with this like creamy, kind of glowy, dewy finished look. Uh, Jess, send me a selfie facing a window and I will color match you. I'm trying to answer them as quickly as possible because I know watching tutorials, how annoying it is watching someone scroll. Like you just want, I want the meat. I want to see the tutorial. I don't want to watch you read. <laughs> I, always, I try to live my life by treat others how you wish to be treated rule. So that's how I want to be treated. I want the meat. All right. So now for eyebrows, we're going to do the brow pencil in the shade medium. You guys, this is hands down the best eyebrow pencil out there. So what you wanna do is follow the tear duct straight up and that's where you kinda of cap off the brow and then you'll kind of etch a line straight down just like this to kinda of cap off the brow and then you'll go straight back all the way to the arch. So you're gonna go straight to the arch just like so and then straight through the tail. And the same thing down here beneath, connect from the corner and then take it to the arch. Practice makes easy, I promise. Practicing with this pencil makes it so easy, but for real, like when I first started doing makeup, I was so intimidated to do my eyebrows. I thought I was gonna look like a caterpillar. <laughs> and this pencil really does make it simple because it's so dainty, so you get very precise application and then say you go too heavy or too dark, what you can always do is use the other end and you can kind of feather through this and it will not only lighten it up, but it'll make it look a little bit more natural. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. So again, tear duct straight up. Just like so. And then top of the corner to the arch the tail underneath and then fill in never use a brow what color with blonde and platinum if your hair is blonde you'll use the shade light if your hair is brunette you'll use the shade medium and if you have dark brown hair you'll use the shade dark but if you're still not sure what color you are just message me a selfie I would be so happy to help you my natural hair color I guess I don't really have that many roots <laughs> is this color, this dark brown. If you used organza mineral powder, what would you get in place of it? Poplin, Dawn. Okay, so now our brows are done. So now I'm gonna actually show you guys a trick to illuminate your eyes. Who out there feels like you have really dark, kind of sunken in eyes? Or maybe you have um, hooded eyes or smaller eyes or wear glasses. All y'all. <laughs> will benefit from these little tricks. So the first thing that you want is the eyeliner in the shade Pristine. It's a white liner. Um, it's really gorgeous and it has all the same amazing things that I love about our eyeliners. It's only $15. It glides on, so super creamy, and it stays where you put it. So what you're gonna wanna do, and it's okay if you have to like pull down your eye and then do this step, but practice has allowed me to be able to do this without pulling my face down. Um, you're gonna put this on your water lines. What this does, it's gonna reflect the light and it's gonna make your eyes look so much brighter and wide awake. So just like so. Just like that. Look how much like brighter it looks on this side. Isn't that amazing? Uh, yes, hooded eyes, wear glasses, yes. Yes, absolutely. If that's you, this eyeliner needs to be in your cart. It's only $15, which will actually earn you free shipping if you are getting the kudos, which is $90. 
And the kudos, you guys, is such an incredible deal because you really get to customize it however you want. You can get your pressed powder, you can get your contour, you can get your highlight with it. You can get so much. All right. So now that we have our eyeliner on, again, with the shade Pristine. Now we're gonna do another step to make our eyes really illuminate. We're gonna take this guy right here, the same product that we used to highlight with, but this is in the shade uh, Iridescent. And again, you're gonna take your finger, grab that, and you're gonna kind of press it on this inner corner, kind of like where your nose is. Just that inner corner, just up here. And again, this is really going to illuminate. You can like kind of flip everyone off. <laughs> Just like that and kind of pop that right there. This is really going to open up your eyes and make them look so much whiter, so much brighter, so much wide awake. So again, if you wear glasses or if you have hooded eyes, easy, easy tricks to illuminate that area. And then now what we're going to do for our eyeshadow is I'm going to take the exact same product I just contoured with, which is the shade Twill, on my fluffy crease brush. And we're just going to very lightly pop this on the crease. You guys, this is such a gorgeous eye look that's so bright and like wide awake. Perfect, again, if you have hooded eyes or if you wear glasses. And then we're not gonna go too heavy on this. I just want a little bit of depth into the crease, just like that. And that's so pretty. With the white and the highlight, it makes it look like we have this like really intricate eye look, but we don't, we're wearing bronzer and highlight on our eyes. This is the shade Iridescent in the Touch of the Mode Luminizer. Um, and then we did the eyeliner in the shade Pristine. All right, so now we're gonna set our makeup. And I always tell you guys why I set my makeup before I do my mascara is so my mascara doesn't get more wet, which can cause transferring. The product, this is the Touch of the Mode Luminizer, so it's gonna be under Highlights on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. It's gonna be under Highlights, and it's the shade Iridescent. Um, I would do the shade Tweed. I don't think Twill is out, though. It was in stock yesterday. Uh, will you ever, or have you ever done a green eye? I have not ever done a green eye. Bright colors are not really my jam, but I probably will put it on my to-do list, yes. I like that you tell exactly where you put each product. I try. I wasn't like a huge like makeup person, so it never came really easy to me. So I always try to teach you guys the same way that I learned tips and ideas and little things that helped me. All right, so now for lashes, the first thing that you want to do is do the lash primer. And this, you guys, just like it's, I always joke around, it's a crime not to prime. Same goes for the lashes. This is really gonna help to get your lashes that amazing length. It's also gonna be incredible for hydrating your lashes, which will make them stronger. So you're gonna go in with this first. This can be in combination with any mascara you have, but it's amazing. And if I could ask a huge favor of you guys, if you have found any value from my makeup tutorials, if you could go ahead and either share this to whoever you think would enjoy it or just share it to your page, or you can tag a friend in the comments. I'd be so grateful. All right, so now for mascara, we're gonna go in with the Twisted Mascara. This is the best mascara I've ever used, hands down, like with any brand, not just with Unique. This is like my favorite mascara. Say Unique went under tomorrow, I would still use this mascara every single day. It is so, so incredible. It has biotin, argan oil, and keratin in it. So it's helping and nourishing your lashes while you wear it. So it's essentially wearing like a lash growth serum in your mascara. It's amazing. So what you wanna do is you just take the larger side and, or I'm sorry, the larger wand and you're just going to go from the base of the lash all the way up. There's no fibers infused in this, so it's amazing for sensitive eyes. It has these tiny little bristles which help to separate and give you that amazing length. Oh, it's so incredible, you guys. I love, love, love this mascara. I can't stop raving about it. So then what I like to do, thank you so much, you guys. I'm gonna take the smaller little brush that comes with it, which is game changer if you have uh, small eyelashes or if you have a hard time getting your inner eyelashes it's a game changer I love this little one this little one so you're gonna go from the base give it some kind of um, thickness at the base which will help to make your lashes look even better and then finally a wand to be able to get those inner lash lines or little lashes 
and then finally again I say a little wand to be able to do the bottom lash line and someone had said why don't you ever use mascara on the bottom lash line I never used it before because every mascara I ever used smudged on my under eye it wasn't until I got this mascara and this wand that I'm able to use mascara on my bottom lash line without it smudging or smearing or leaving a mark on my under eye hallelujah finally so if that happens to you if no matter what kind of mascara you use it smudges or smears this one you guys this one will not it's so good yes this is the twisted mascara from unique it's only 27 dollars. it's gonna last you anywhere from four to six months depending on use it's amazing for sensitive skin it's water resistant look at those lashes they literally are touching my eyebrows <laughs> I love it, so, so good. All right, so the very last step to this makeup look, and we're gonna do something that's perfect if you have to wear a mask, because it's not gonna smudge or come off, it's gonna last all day. We are gonna take our pencil sharpener. <laughs> the pencil sharpener is amazing, it's only 750 and it's under tools, it's under more tools, actually. Um, and this is amazing for sharpening your pencils, your lip liners, and your eyeliners without like jacking them all up. Gives you a really good precise tip. So we're going to take the lip liner in the shade Punchy and we're going to line our lips with this. And then same thing on top. I love our lip liners because they're only $15. They're so creamy. They glide on and they're smudge proof. So you get that really good all day hold and it's not going to come off with your mask. So typically with a lip liner, you just line your lips, right? Not today. <laughs> today we're gonna fill in the whole lip. I right, start in the center. And then work right out. And then color in. We all know how to color. Just like so. And that is gonna give you this gorgeous matte baby doll pink lip look. And that's so soft and pretty. It's only $15. And that was the shade Punchy. So, so good. Oh, I love this color. So there's a really fresh, hydrating, all day wear, full coverage makeup look. Perfect if you have dry skin. Perfect if you are balling on a budget with the kudos. So this is a make. I love this makeup look. I would do and rock this makeup look every single day. It's so, so pretty. I love it. So if you guys have any questions or if you need to be color matched, please reach out to me here on Facebook. I would love um, to help you guys. Sherry, make sure that you're using the lip exfoliator uh, beforehand. That will remove a lot of dead skin, which could cause the transferring because your skin is like flaking off. Um, so lip exfoliator is really going to help. And then the setting spray, as you saw, I set my makeup, my lips included before I did my lip liner, which would really help as well. You can also set this afterwards as well. And then make sure to also, when you're doing your primer, um, your mattifying face primer to go over your lips too, because this is also going to prime your lips for whatever product you're about to use. Thank you guys so much. So like I said, please reach out to me here on Facebook if you have any questions or if you need to be color matched, comment color match in the comments. Make sure you go enter into my giveaway over on Instagram. Um, it's a really fun giveaway. All you have to do is watch my stories and share one a day. You could screenshot it and share it or you can click the little paper airplane, that's it. So let me know if I can be of any help to you guys. Make sure you grab your kudos down here before all the good colors are gone um, and then sh uh, go hang out with me over on Instagram for the rest of the day, my Instagram stories. So Instagram is Raya Hope, which I'll pin the link to it right here. Insta. And then you'll click my profile picture and the stories will begin to play. So I'll see you guys over there next. Bye.